Hi everybody, this is Kevin Lin from Kevin's Kitchen and today we're here at Me Noodles in Hong Kong. I'm going to be sharing with you a baklava recipe, uh, something that my dad likes. Uh, his birthday is coming up, so I'm going to make this for him. Happy birthday, Dad! I made this with my daughter last year and she had a lot of fun, uh, but this year I want to show you guys how to make it. So my dad likes baklava so much uh, that on one of his trips to Turkey, he actually had it almost every meal uh, or whenever he had time throughout the day, he would go look for baklava. So, hope you guys like it. Let's get ready. Let's get started. Let's go. So in this recipe, I'm using pistachios, but you can actually use uh, walnuts, macadamia, uh, or hazelnuts, or any other nuts of your choice. Uh, for phyllo pastry, I actually just bought it from the grocery store. You can find this uh, frozen, uh, and you just defrost it before you use it. So this rose water I'm actually making from scratch. Uh, so I bought some dried rose uh, from a tea shop just around the corner. So here I'm using a little bit of spice, uh, nutmeg, and cinnamon. For the rose water, I'm using two cups of rose, one cup of sugar, and one and a half cup of water, which I boiled beforehand. And uh, you just wanna pour it over and just let it steep for about uh, 30 minutes to an hour. And for the rose water, you wanna make it just uh, the night before, uh, just so that it has time for it to cool down. So with the rose water, after you've steeped it for about an hour, uh, you can actually just strain the rose uh, and you can actually just squeeze out whatever remaining liquid you do have uh, from the rose. And after that, you wanna just mix in the honey uh, and then just let it sit overnight in the fridge. For the pistachios or the nuts you're using, uh, you can actually place it into a bag if you don't have a blender uh, and then just uh, smash it and smash it until it becomes uh, more fine, uh, but you don't need it to a powder-like consistency, but just uh, smaller chunks. So if you're using a food processor or a blender, you, actually, you can actually just pulse it uh, until you get a smaller consistency. So here you can actually see I strained out the larger chunks uh, and I actually did put it in the food processor so, so I could get it into a finer consistency. So here you can see I have the ground nuts and then I've also melted the butter already. And as for the phyllo pastry, uh, you can see I'm placing it on a wet towel here. Uh, the wet towel just helps so that your pastry does not dry out. Um, but if you're working fast enough, you don't necessarily need the wet towel underneath. So here I'm actually cutting the phyllo pastry into the size of my tray uh, so that it makes it easier for me to use. But if, you're, if you are using a larger tray, you can actually just use them as is. So to start off, you want to just brush the bottom of the pan with some butter uh, so that your phyllo does not stick to the pan. And so now you want to just layer the phyllo uh, and for every phyllo layer you place down, you want to just brush it with some uh, butter so that it will crisp up when you're cooking this in the oven. For me, I'm using five layers of phyllo uh, for every layer of nut mixture that I'm adding in. Uh, you can actually change the number of layers if you do prefer more pastry or, or less if you want more nuts. So I'm actually doing uh, five layers of the phyllo uh, and then one layer of nut and then five layer of phyllo, one layer of nut. Um, but for the final layer, I'm actually uh, using 10 sheets of phyllo just so that you do get a uh, crispier crust on the top of the baklava. So you don't have to stack these perfectly as it will kind of create that layers already. Uh, so a little bit off is fine. You do want to spread the pistachio evenly so that uh, you do get pistachio in every bite of your baklava. So once you've completed it, uh, you want to make sure you brush enough butter on the top layer so that you do get a really nice golden brown crust on the top. Um, I actually ran out of butter, uh, so I tried to extract as much of it from the container as I can. So now you want to just cut your baklava. Uh, you don't need to cut it all the way down, uh, but just so that it creates a guideline for you later on when your pastry is done, uh, but also so that it allows the rose water to actually seep in once you're done cooking. 
So here I'm cutting off the outside edge uh, since I'm my pan I'm using a hotel pan and it is does have a curved corner so I'm actually just cutting it off so that I could get uh, some straight edge baklavas. And so once that's done, uh, once you're done cutting, you can actually just place it into the oven, uh, 200 degrees, and you want to just check it every 10 minutes just to make sure uh, you do develop that golden brown crust. And then once you have that, you can stop it and take it out. So once it's out of the oven, you can actually just pour the rose syrup uh, onto it and you'll hear this uh, slight crackling sound um, as the cold liquid cold syrup touches the hot baklava um, but this will actually help the pastry absorb that syrup uh, and not make it as a soggy texture as you may think. So after you have the syrup you can actually just finish garnishing it with the pistachios that you've held back uh, from the beginning. So this is how you make baklava and the good thing about making it at home is you can customize the sweetness that you like and also the types of nuts that goes into the baklava. Uh, in my case, I like pistachios a lot so I'm only using pistachios uh, but you know you can use um, walnuts, hazelnuts, uh, macadamia, uh, whatever that you prefer uh, and it, it all works. And in terms of the honey, you can also substitute for syrup if you like or you can even omit the honey. So happy birthday, Dad. And for all those, if you like this recipe, please like, share, and subscribe this video. And if you have any questions or comments, please leave it in the comment field below. And I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.